Okay, here's your quick tip. This one is another one for watercolor people. Uh, you know, we, we like reserving whites sometimes uh, when we're doing watercolor. Some areas res require that we reserve the whites. And we have some ways of doing that, such as um, masking fluid and, and other things. Well, here's a little thing that I've discovered. I don't know, you may already know it, but I'm going to show you anyway. A little thing I've discovered for reserving lights that um, work very well, especially if you're working wet and wet technique, wet in wet technique. So start out by wetting your paper and um, just just get it pretty wet. I uh, won't wet the whole thing for for this. I just want just a, just enough to show the the process, and then we want we want the water to be evenly distributed over the paper. Um, not puddled, but evenly, evenly distributed into a gloss that's an even gloss, but not, not running. Now, then you take a piece of tissue paper. Um, it's, it's better to use thing, uh, a tissue that doesn't have a design on it. A piece of tissue paper, and you simply blot out with the area that you want to keep light or white. In this case, if it works really well, like if you're doing uh, uh, paintings where you need to reserve a lot of light in tree trunks, uh, you could begin it like this. And um, so I'll just do just that much to show you. Now what happens is that dry paper resists the wetness. And so then we can use, this is sort of a, a little Nita Engel process, um, but then we can simply drop the color in, like I'm going to do here. I'll just sort of um, drop color in around the area and uh, sort of get that um, kind of interesting color there. And then you can let the color bleed, let the color bleed downward. And you see, as the color bleeds, it stops, it stops where you've blotted it out. And then you can just let the color move. Uh, you can continue to tilt your paper and allow the color to move at random and develop these um, wonderful little free-flowing effects. And you have that nice white space that then once uh, this is dry, you can do whatever you want to with. So there's your quick tip.